to an update on a Detroit redevelopment project that is also impacting nearby residents. It's the neighborhood near the old Kiefer Hospital, and the first homes are being renovated and soon will be on the market for sale. Take a look. It's a huge project for anyone to tackle. Developer and architect Ron Castellano and his investment partners have plans to transform the former Kiefer Hospital complex and attract tenants to fill the dozen buildings located on the 38-acre campus. But that's only part of the challenge. And this one we kept the siding, this one we, we put new uh, vinyl siding on, this one we repaired the stucco. As part of his agreement with the city, Castellano is rehabbing dozens of houses in the neighborhood surrounding the campus. We recently returned to West Philadelphia Street to check on the progress since our first visit back in April. The before and after of this house is striking, and it's repeated up and down the block. Some of these houses have been vacant since 86. It's amazing. I think every house had holes in the roofs, some holes through floors all the way to the basements. Castellano's team has been finishing up exterior work. He also took us inside several of the 15 houses he owns on the block that have been cleaned up, fixed up, and now are ready for interior finishes. Tried to save as many of the wood floors as we could. So this was original? Yeah. Yeah. 100 years old, it's amazing nice. how it comes back, right? Oh yeah. All of the systems in the houses are 100% upgraded. Plumbing, electric, and HVAC. It has taken Castellano longer than expected to complete this first phase of the homes he controls. The delays have angered some in the community who remain critics of the agreement the city brokered. I think the misconception is that it's so easy and it's just not, it's just not. I mean, this is probably the hardest project I've ever done in my life to get this done in the amount of time that we did it. It took a long time to get here, but this is why we said Please, let's not demo these houses, you know? These would be all, these would not be here. Mary Grant has lived on West Philadelphia since 1969, and she's thrilled with the change. So I'm on the end results yesterday, but you got to wait till the end is up. You can't put the cart before the horse. Yeah, I was here when it was good, I was here when it bad, and I'm gonna be here when it get good again. That's all I can tell you. Castellano tells me he has a broker lined up now, and as soon as the kitchen is finished and the home they plan to show as a sales model, they'll go active on the market. We'll keep following the progress of this very, very large and complex project. Certainly nice to see. We've all been singing West Philadelphia Born and Raised, right?